Nice lighthouse you've got here. Thank you. Just walk on all the way up the stairs and take in the beautiful view, me lad. Make yourself at home. Now you shall feel the power of the Master. You cannot elude it.
power of the Master. You cannot elude it. We shall get you. Wait a minute. Haven't you done enough damage? I think you should go now. You're still here? Obviously. Still miffed? Never mind, forget about it. Say, have you been to Lobart's farm lately? Maybe. Why? Oh, nothing important. I just wanted to talk to Vino again about his still. Still? What still? Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Vino's always been very particular about his little secret. Whatever. Now I've let it slip out anyway. Back in the woods, Vino set up a secret still. A while ago, he asked me to get him something to grease his portcullis with. It's rained a lot recently, and the thing rusted shut on him. Now the winch is stuck, and no one can get in anymore. What a mess. And? Have you got the grease? Yeah, sure. The best there is. Mole rat fat. Terrible stuff, let me tell you. It's even used to grease ship's cannons. Sell me the grease. That won't be cheap, pal. It's damn rare in this part of the country. How much? Mm, 100 gold coins. It's a deal. All right, here you go. Oh dear, Vino's gonna kill me. Everything. We can manage. I just wonder how much long... I can't stand it anymore. They sneak around the house making those funny noises. Hey, you! Is there any other news? Someone keeps stealing my sheep lately. I haven't been able to sleep properly for nights. Who could have done that? I've got a hunch about that. Some really nasty fellows have settled into the caves over in the forest. I find it hard to believe that they're living on berries. I'm almost certain that's where my sheep are disappearing to. Did anything else- My sheep keep disappearing. Soon I won't be able to feed us anymore. Hey! Hey, you bum. 
You haven't come about that sheep, have you? You stole the sheep from Akil the farmer. So what? What are you gonna do about it? Give me that sheep or I'll punch you in the eye. Then look out, boy. All hell's about to break loose. Yes! Run as fast as you can! Come with me. I found the sheep rustlers. You were right. Those fellows in the forest cave did it. They'll never steal sheep from you again. Thanks. You sure are a strange mercenary. Not at all like the others I know. Take this as a small token of thanks for the selfless favor you did for me. Very good. Here's a few gold coins. I hope it's enough. 
Did anything else happen? No. I hope the sheep stay where they are right now.
Nothing to plunder. How's it going with your tavern? Hopefully these black magicians will move on soon. Otherwise, I can close the tavern. Almost nobody dares to come here anymore. Show me your wares. Certainly. The whole thing all over again. But I'm not telling you anything new. The same old thing all over again. He never would have thought of that himself. I couldn't get away with that. I've gone about it differently. Hey! Show me... May Innos... There's another of those sick gummy beasts. One less monster around.
Hey you, hey you. Ever been to the monastery? Maybe, why? Are they still taking on people? I wouldn't know where else to turn. Where do you come from? I used to be captain of a big whaler, my boy. The sea is my home. My ship, the good old Magdalena, was sunk by pirates a few months ago, and now I'm stranded here. All I ever wanted was to go back to sea. Since I've come here, not one schooner is called at this accursed port. The only ship which is anchored in Corinus is that blasted war galley of the king, and they don't take on anyone. So what else can I do? There's no work for me in town. I've tried everything. You'd better get off the road. Eh, hey, don't worry. I've already noticed that the wilderness out here has become damn dangerous in the last couple of days. How did you get to the monastery so fast? What kind of a question is that? I crept through the pass and made my way straight to the monastery. Admittedly, it was never easy avoiding all the monsters making themselves at home on this side of the valley, but ultimately I encountered fewer problems than I expected. Do you know anything about the hooded figures? No, but I have a bad feeling about those guys. Be careful if you run into them. Do you know where the others are? Gorn seems to have coped with his stay in Garan's dungeon very well. In any case, he wanted to go to Lee and see what was happening on the farm. After the grub they serve in the dungeon, he's probably stuffing his face right now and putting the mercenaries' provisions to a real test. Diego mumbled something about a reckoning. No idea what he meant by that. But I suspect he's in the city. You know him. Always there when there's something to be had. I need to get into the monastery. It's urgent. I can't let you into the monastery. I'll get in trouble with the High Council. Without the permission of my superiors, I can't let anyone into the monastery. I've got a letter from Lord Hagen. Show me. All right. Here's the key to the monastery. Pyrocar is in the church. I have come to take the Eye of Inos. I see that you have received an authorization from Lord Hagen himself to bear the Eye of Inos. I am afraid that I have to disappoint you. We have fallen victim to a treacherous plot of the enemy. The Eye of Inos has been violently taken from these sacred walls. Who did this? Evil is cunning and usually works in secret. Only rarely do you see it emerge to pursue its evil machinations in broad daylight. But these days, it's a different matter. The enemy now shows himself openly in the street, in every home and every public square. This can only mean that he no longer fears any adversary and is not going to shrink back from anything. One of our most faithful followers, a candidate for the high robe of the Magicians of Fire, has changed his allegiance unexpectedly, and in an alarmingly evil manner, Pedro. The enemy has taken possession of him, thus inflicting a terrible defeat upon us. 
Pedro has forced his way into our most sacred halls and stolen the eye. I fear that he simply spent too much time by himself outside of the gates and thus beyond the protective walls of the monastery, exposed to all lurking dangers. Where did the thief flee to? Pedro knocked down some of the other novices who tried to stop him and disappeared into the morning mist. Many novices have gone after him to bring the eye back to its place unharmed. If you want to catch up with him, you need to hurry before Pedro disappears out of your reach. I've come from the old Valley of Mines. What do you have to report? The enemy has formed up there with an army of orcs and dragons. We have already learned that from Milton. But what about the King's shipment of ore? The mine they are digging for Garand in the valley cannot satisfy the demands of the King. The days are becoming grayer, and the light of the sun is ever weaker. I was attacked by men in black robes. I know. Those are the Seekers, henchmen from the nether realms of Beliar. Beware of them. They will try to take possession of you. Once possessed, you will no longer be yourself. Only here in the monastery could you find help then, so be careful. Here, this rune will bring you directly back to the monastery if you need our help. Remember, we must offer resistance or we shall all be doomed. Some citizens of Corinus have mysteriously disappeared. Take your tribute to Gorax at the monastery at once. He will handle it further. The same is true for the investigation of the unusual earthquakes in the northeastern regions of Corinus. So far, I have not received notice that our intervention would be required. Therefore, we are not going to take any steps in this matter. Yes, but... No buts. We shall proceed as we see fit, and I hope even you are going to respect that. I think I'm possessed. Can you heal me? Not without a token of your respect for this monastery, my son. 300 gold coins. Great, here's the money. Here, drink this. May the mercy of Enos be your salvation. Not so fast. I have another task for you. A mercenary for hire of your kind could be of use to us in this matter. Whom should I kill? For Innos's sake, no one, of course. This business demands a bit more finesse, you lout. Salandril, the alchemist from the upper end of town, is guilty of a serious crime and must be punished for it. However, he has refused to come to the monastery to be judged. Bring him here. How you accomplish this does not matter to us. You will, of course, be rewarded. No problem. I'll take care of it. Good. We expect to hear from you in a few days. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Dismissed. You know what you have to do. One more little thing. Stay away from the roadside shrines. We have heard that some of them have been desecrated. No one can say what effect they have now. It is not your task to solve this problem. The Paladins will take care of this matter. He really should have known better. Hey! I do not know why you were allowed to enter the monastery. I am Paladin, and I am responsible for our novices. I do not want you to keep them from their work with stupid questions. Is that clear? Sure, I certainly hope so. Where can I find... You don't have to tell me that. Why haven't I heard about this before? I can't rely on... Hey! What can I do for you? Have you got anything interesting for me? Um... No. I never would have thought... Hey, you! How are the sheep? No idea. How do you think they are? They stand around and munch grass. I'd rather know what's happening outside. The magicians seem to be very nervous. Anything's possible. 
Strangers in black robes roam the countryside. What do you mean? What sort of strangers? Nobody knows where they've come from. They wear long black robes and they cover their faces. They seem to be some kind of magician. At least they're capable of magic. That sounds very disturbing, but I'm sure that the High Council will solve this problem. Nobody ever asks me. There are dragons in the Valley of Mines. They are besieging the royal troops together with the army of orcs. Dragons? I always thought they only existed in horror stories. They're there, believe me. But the king's paladins will deal with them, won't they? We'll see. Pedro betrayed us. I'd heard that, but I didn't know that you were aware of that too. That's why I didn't say anything. Is the enemy stronger than us? I mean, can we defeat him? We're not dead yet. That's no secret. Why haven't I heard about this before? That's no secret. Could have told you that before. I am Master Highglass, guardian of the fire and keeper of the knowledge. What are you studying, Master? My research focuses on fire, the power of Enos. It is his gift and at the same time a mighty weapon, and I create runes which contain his power. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be on your way and looking for the underhanded traitor, Pedro? He's not gonna get very far. I hope so, for your sake. If he should escape because you've been lollygagging here, I will personally drag you before the tribunal. What would you accuse me of? Conspiracy with the enemy. It takes little imagination to picture the punishment for such an offense. And now, See to it that you lose no more time. Otherwise, the next time we meet, it will be at the stake. Ow! What do you want here? Go! Today, that wasn't so hard. He really should have known better. I never would have thought. What do you want here? Go! Take your paws off that. From now on, keep your paws off stuff that isn't yours. Totally obvious. I used to say that myself. Why haven't I heard about this before? Same old thing all over again. There have been all kinds of rumors. Get out of here! Yeah, get away from here! You already know what I think. Get out of here! Yeah, get away from here! So what was your business in there, huh? Get out of my sight, you dirty thief. As if Father Parlan will not be happy to hear of this sacrilege. There's more, believe me. Nothing's ever gonna change that. I couldn't get away with that. No one must violate the divine order. I couldn't care less. Nobody ever asks me. It was his decision, wasn't it? I couldn't care less. That's nothing new. Theft. 
is a violation of the rules of the monastery. These transgressions must be punished. Thus is the law of Inos. You will pay an appropriate penalty to the monastery. How much? 50 gold pieces. I want to pay the penalty. I accept your donation. Your transgressions are forgiven. May Inos give you the wisdom not to make the same mistakes again.